I have never competed in a cooking competition. I am nervous. I have a master chef judging my meal right now. Welcome to This Is Fire. Eight top OnlyFans creators will go head to head to make some of the world's favorite dishes. You only have 30 minutes. I'm already sweating. Let's cook. I honestly don't know what fennel is. I thought it was a bird. They could be raw in the middle. We got one minute. That does not look right. And I cut my finger. Three. The oven's smoking, I'm burning myself. Two. I fucked up. One. <laughs> Who will take home the $20,000 grand prize? Today's winner will finalize our four competitors for the grand prize of $20,000. But first, let's meet our two challengers. Hi guys, I'm Nala, and I am known for being an adult model on OnlyFans. Okay, I definitely would say I'm a huge foodie. I'm Italian, so naturally pasta, but I do like a lot of my lean meats. The weight of my heart is definitely through food. I absolutely love to cook. I would probably say my cooking skills are a seven. I have kept many boyfriends happy. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to be here, and I know everyone thinks that they have a shot at winning, but I'm definitely gonna be the winner at the end of this. Seduction wins every single time. Hi, I'm Oliver Flynn. I am an adult entertainer, and I am most famous for my movies on the internet. So I've had a long relationship with food. My dad was a chef. Growing up, I was always cooking with him, and always teaching me new stuff. It's been a long time since I've showed my cooking skills. I'm really glad that I'm able to come into this experience and do something that I've loved my whole life. I have not competed in a cooking competition, but I've always wanted to. I have no idea what I'm cooking, and I'm really excited for that. I feel like there's always cool ideas that come up on these cooking shows. Nala. Oliver, how are you doing today? I'm really good, how are you? Good, you excited to cook? Fuck yeah, yeah. I love to eat. What about you, buddy? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah? Yeah. Enchiladas, a staple that has been here for a very long time. Wow, I've never made enchiladas before. I, I make like Spanish, Mexican food all the time at home, but just grilled steak and tacos. Oliver, some of these amazing ingredients, you know, we have green tomatillos for the green sauce. We have uh, seasonings that you can are able to toast and bring out them flavors for that red sauce. We have three blend cheeses. We have exotic meats as far as chicken, asada, and ground beef. So you, the sky's the limit as far as what you're able to choose. Are you familiar with some of the flavors of oregano, cilantro, onions, lemons, yes. etc.? cetera? Yes? Absolutely, yeah. What about you? I'm pretty familiar with it. I haven't ever cooked with it, but I love to eat it. Oh, no, I'm excited. I'm, uh, so I, I hear you're Italian? I am. Yes, yes so you're going to be bringing some of that Italian flavor I'll in. definitely bring the spice. Would you go red or green sauce? I'd probably do a red sauce. Yeah? Uh, obviously, I love red. Okay. But I'm definitely willing to spice it up a bit. Yes. She's very confident, so I felt a little intimidated. You are set with your mise en place. I want to taste some good, good enchiladas. Now, are you ready to cook? I'm ready, chef. Oliver, are you ready to cook? Yes, chef. 30 minutes on the clock. Let's cook. So I broke it down as far as what I needed to get done first, and I definitely felt like the meat of the meal was the most important. Oh, we're going chicken breast here, I'm definitely yes? gonna do a chicken breast. I'm very familiar with like the texture of a chicken breast. Okay, slicing it up, getting a faster cook on that, I like that. So enchiladas are really good, but like I said, I don't have a lot of experience in cooking enchiladas, so I was a little bit nervous. Talk to me, Oliver, where are you, where are you thinking? I'm gonna go with the red sauce enchiladas with the chicken. My plan of attack for making the enchiladas is to start with like a pepper base for the sauce uh, and tomatoes and make it spicy. So I'm, I'm planning on kicking it up a notch for my meal. Nala, what you going for first? Toasting the tortillas up? Honestly, it's kind of what I was going for, but 
I'm just gonna go with however I feel. There you go. <laughs> um, chef, what would you recommend yes. as far as how long should I let the tortilla sit in the sauce? That's about a five to 10 minute. Okay. Because it'll soak right in there once you get that sauce done. Since I never cooked this meal before, the chef definitely helped me. He answered a lot of questions along the way. And for the base of the red sauce, what would you recommend as far as the best flavor? Tomato paste is a great help okay. with this as far as a 10 minute sauce. Hey chef, can I have a spoon? Yes. Sorry, trash can. Trash can, my hand right here. There you go. All right. <laughs> I perform all the time in the bedroom, so I really have no problem performing in the kitchen with a professional. Yes, yes, yes. Fine. Hey, good, good kitchen, good you. kitchen <laughs> etiquette right there. So it seems like you have some experience in the kitchen. Uh, just a little bit. My dad actually was a chef growing up. I started my first job in a kitchen and did that for like 12 years. I really enjoy it. I really like like getting in there and doing all the stuff. I like the fast pace of it, but I think it's the, the end result. It gives someone a feeling. I like how your, uh, your technique, is yeah, this something dad taught you? No, nope, right just kind of winging it right now. I never, right really, never really worked in any, you know, Spanish places or anything like that. Beautiful. So it's kind of new, but trying it out. I felt a little bit intimidated because I know he has a background of cooking. Now, do you have any experience in uh, in cooking? Do you... Um, I normally cook like I'm a very lean person, so I, I eat a lot of lean meats. I eat a lot of rice, quinoa, um, lots of green vegetables. I started like five years ago on my fitness journey, uh, lifting really, really heavy, and then that slowly turned into my passion for OnlyFans, being like a really hot fit chick. We got 20 minutes. Seasoning that chicken, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, okay. So my chicken, it was very basic. I put on olive oil and then I put just salt and pepper, added a little bit of butter while the um, chicken was still seasoning just to give it a little extra salt. Do you like spicy at all? I love spicy. Good to know. Bye. I love spicy, but not too spicy. Don't burn, nope. my, don't burn my face. Nope. Don't burn my face. Let's turn that spice up. I love spicy food. The spicier, the better. I hate sweets. I'd rather eat a pepper than a piece of cake. You guys are doing multiple things at one time. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Don't forget, guys, we have our blenders up here. Remember, we have to have a side. Dude, Oliver, I love your kitchen etiquette, man. <laughs> I love the, the love it. Chef, what would you do to make this a little bit more saucy? Put the more tomato? Saucy? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Because mm -hmm. remember, we can always blend it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you need, Chef? Uh, I'm just thinking. What are you thinking? thinking? Um, just trying to time things right here. Working so closely with Chef and him being there to give insight and kind of push you along in the right direction uh, really brought me back. It, it, it reminded me of you know all those chefs that I've had that have you know influenced me in restaurants that I've worked at. I've literally never cooked enchiladas. I've literally only eaten. You really, you guys are uh, like honestly doing it better than some of the chefs I've seen in restaurants. You just so gotta keep, wing keep it, it. Wing it. Just keep <laughs> wing it. You just gotta figure it out, figure like it out. what you think it tastes like. Yeah, I love it. The most challenging thing for me was honestly putting together so many spices at once in such short period of time. I just didn't know whether it was going to turn out like I wanted because I normally cook a lot, a lot larger meals. So cooking for just one sit down portion was a little bit difficult for me. Okay guys, start thinking now as far as plates. Remember our plate selection is over to your right. Get all your final preparations for your sauce because we're running at about 17 minutes right now. 17 minutes 17 left for minutes. a chef. Yes. What's this pot for? Talk that pot me. is for a cheese sauce. Oh, you're gonna do the cheese gonna sauce. I'm gonna make a little cheese okay. sauce. So I want the cheese sauce because I wanted to drizzle some on top of the, the chips that I made, uh, kind of like a deconstructed nachos. Look at this, is this fried, are these fried uh, tortillas? That is strings? fried tortillas. Wow, adding that texture and crunch. So I added refried beans to the garbanzo beans, as well as a little bit of lime and salt and pepper. I was definitely gonna use the garbanzo bean paste with the refried beans, because both of those are sides. We got the cheese, I love it. You are going for it. I think I, I think you've made this before, it seems like. No, I, think you're I tricking love garbanzo us. I think beans, you're tricking it's us. the same texture as a bean, so I'm thinking nice paste, right? Yes, Egg? yes, Whoop. Sorry. <laughs> you're good, you're good. It was good, we got lemons, as far as zesty, yeah. I love the rush of a competition. It's smelling so good in here. Wow, right? it, I can feel the love, I can feel it. There's lots of love. There's lots there of love is. in lots here. Lots of cooking love. Oliver, I like how you're taking charge, man. 
Oliver was so, so sweet. He's got a lot of boldness. I think he's very attractive, actually. <laughs> Remember, we gotta, form our, we gotta form our tortillas, guys. Get that meat ready. We gotta form them and put it in the oven. Guys, we are at nine minutes right now, guys. Or nine heard, minutes. Heard. Time was not my best friend here. We got there you go, shit. assembly. Let me get you some spoons, yes? Yeah. Come on, we gotta push a little quicker. We're counting down. Mm -hmm. Remember, I want zest, salt, fats. We got fats in the cheeses. Oliver, your knife skills are working great, brother. Thank I you. love it. No, you're getting the job done. Yes, I love it. Sir. I love how you're just pushing forward. You know what I mean? I can tell you're a problem solver for sure. I try, man. Yeah. I'm super nervous about fucking up, and I hope I don't make it too soggy or too dry for him. Nala is rolling her uh, beautiful, beautiful enchiladas right now, taking her time super focused. Wow. I covered it with a tomato seasoning that I had added cumin and a tiny bit of oregano because I am always wanting to go back to my Italian roots a little bit, but I thought it would spice it up. So after I put that all together, I put it in the oven and just prayed to God that it was gonna be the perfect texture. And remember guys, we're playing for $20,000. Yes, we are. We ain't playing for five, we're not playing for 10, we're playing for $20,000. Hey, Oliver's going to grab his plate right now. That means he's confident, he's structured, he's going over here. I'm feeling a little bit more nervous than I was before. It's the timing. We got a timer? Or? How much time uh, we got left? You got seven minutes. The pressure was really hitting me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been in a kitchen. Let's start amping it up. Come on, guys. We got to push it. Got to push it. Yep. And uh, I can definitely remember that feeling from back in the day. And don't forget your sides. That beautiful side that you're supposed to be doing as well. Remember, oh, we have shit. beans. It's like I forgot about that completely. Fuck. Good. Get in that oven, brother. Get in that oven. Nala, you got to make a beautiful garbanzo bean, right? Yes? yes. Taste, yeah? So the biggest thing that I wanted to include was flavor, of course, but my own kind of flavor, which comes in color and texture. We got raspberries. Just making you go for the raspberries. Um, wow. I love sweet and raspberries, like sweet but there's something different about it that tells me it can go with the spice. Fruit always adds a little bit of sweetness, obviously, and I had a lot of salt and a lot of cheese, and what I like with my cheese, especially in Italy, is fruit. A line, there we go, details, I like it. Guys, we're at five minutes. Fuck. Five minutes hits, and I am struggling. Pick it up, Oliver, whatever we need, Chef. We got a whole line out there, Chef, waiting to try your enchiladas, brother. Yep. He reminded me that I had to make a side dish for the enchilada, and I had nothing. Cheese sauce became a blob of cheese in the pot, and I didn't have the ratio of milk and flour in the roux. There you go, there you go. It's all right, don't get frustrated. Yeah, How you feeling right thick. now? Uh, that was when I kind of was like, oh shit, I don't have a side, I don't have a cheese sauce, I'm gonna just let this cheese sauce die on the stove and I'm gonna lose. Under three, under three, brother. We got avocado. So I had to whip up a guacamole. Come on, Oliver, pick it up. I want you to have a plate, or at least something on a plate. Mm hmm. Now let's focus. I felt a little bit pressed with the time, not gonna lie. Do you think I have, I, this is stable enough to. Fry. I don't think so. I don't think so I don't either. Think so. I, I, I would hate for it to get ruined. You did a great job, honestly. I think so too. Yeah, I think you're doing great. Don't doubt yourself, Chef. Under two minutes, guys. Fuck. Nala was doing great. I looked over a couple times. She was really, she was on point with what this, the things she was making. Do you think you're gonna make it on time, Nala? I think so. I think so too. We got it. All right, guys. We're at the one minute mark, guys. We're at the one minute mark. Get anything you guys have on the plate. All of us playing, oh, the avocado right there. This is actually so fun. I feel like when I plated it, it was just coming together. And don't forget your side, guys, your sides. Literally making something very basic, beautiful. 30 seconds. I think she might have got me on the texture of her tortillas in the enchilada because I don't think I soaked mine for long enough. So might be in some danger there. Can I get a countdown, please? Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys. You're done. Enchiladas are done. Done. Honestly. I, I am impressed. How do you feel? I feel relieved. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oliver, how do you feel, brother? I messed up my cheese sauce, and then I came back, and then you know I had to make a side real fast. I, I feel 
decent about it, but luckily I was able to get it all done. My confidence is extremely high. I think my presentation is really what set it off here. Honestly, I didn't even feel like there was much of a competition, but I will win. Are you guys ready for me to eat this? Yes, chef. Absolutely. Let's do this. Chef, you guys did an amazing job. Thank you. Thank amazing you. job. Talk to me, Oliver. What do we got here? So, I went with a classic enchilada sauce, um, red sauce with the t chicken inside. Okay. And then for my side, I did a uh, uh, guacamole um, with some fresh made tortilla chips. When he was staring down at my plate was a little bit of nervousness because she had two plates going on. She tried something crazy. The sign said, wow factor, you know, that's what wins it. And I, I went with the original route. Hermosa, what was your method with your um Tortilla. I soaked it for a little bit uh, in the sauce that I made for it. Presentation is there, bud. I like it. Texture amazing. A great dish, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Chef Nala, what do we got? So I started with a red sauce being a little bit of original, but I wanted to do a little bit of my ethnic spin on it. Okay. So I actually added a little bit of oregano to my seasoning with the chicken. But then I took some garbanzo beans, mixed it with the actual beans, and made a really nice paste. I decided to go with raspberries because they're not too, too sweet, and I like the contrast between the bean and the raspberry. I also lined the plate with lemon juice to kind of make like a little margarita style with the salt. <laughs> Very nice, I like that little detail. I'm, I'm really excited to try this. Let's see, the, the tortilla seems soft enough, okay. Chef is definitely gonna choose my dish because my plating was beautiful. I think my taste of my enchilada is gonna be wonderful. And I have a great smile. Citrus, wow. I can taste the aroma. And the garbanzo beans. I like that you took that uh, different aspect instead of using refried beans. You went for a healthier route. With the raspberries, let's see. I think the fact that I used raspberries are going to shock him a little bit and make him think this was very creative. Next time, maybe a little more seasoning. Okay. On the, um, I did on add the some beans. chili powder on yeah. there. What would you add? A tiny bit of salt, let's say. Got it. Maybe some zest. Mm. All in all, good. That really cuts through it, actually. Take that back on the zest. That raspberry cuts through perfectly. <laughs> Great job. Thank you. As far as visuals, um, amazing way to garnish on both your guys' plates. As far as textures, uh, Nala, I really enjoyed your tortilla soaked perfectly. Chicken broke down through. Uh, maybe a little bit more cheese Got next it. time. My man, mm. I loved your guacamole. Mm. Really good, just a little bit of hint of salt. The mm. chicken cooked perfectly. Oliver, all in all, you could definitely see what you've looked at as your pops cooking mm. growing up. But there only can be one winner. Yes, sir. Sure. There's only one dish to go to the next round of the semifinals. Mm -hmm. I think I've hit my verdict. 